Hey everybody, it's Wicked underscore Ninja 88 here with Wednesday Fight Night with the Rocky Mountain Slackers. Got a couple good matches lined up for tonight. We're going to see a rematch of Donald Trump versus Bernie Sanders. We're also going to have a couple uh, other matches going on. So the first thing I got to do is I'm going to get into the community creations. Hit that download button. And uh, let's see who we can get. Anybody right off the bat that I see? I see a Joker. And a Spider-Man. So we're going to do Batman. That's going to be a match we're going to see tonight. And Batman's going to take on the Joker. Nilsson, my boy, what's up, my man? Let's see here. Oh, Goku. Hey, no worries, man. Doing good, doing good. Just enjoying myself, getting ready for the Wednesday fight night. Did you happen to catch the, uh... Did you happen to catch, uh... Clash of the... Clash? Let's see if there's a Harry Potter... That is a weird looking Vold <laughs> It's Voldemort Cage. I think that's supposed to be Nicolas Cage and uh, Voldemort. That's kind of scary. There's definitely a Voldemort. I'm not too fond of the way they made Harry Potter look, but we may just go with Harry Potter. Yes, he did look like a Mega Mind, didn't he? Let's see here. Ooh, Clash in the Sagas. Harry Potter versus Luke Skywalker. Now, are we going like old Skywalker or are we going like young Skywalker? You know what? I think I might save that. I do like the idea of old Potter or 
old Luke versus young Luke to see who's the better of the Skywalkers. Well, I can't give any I can't give anything away on the new Star Wars just because it's a it's the movie where you got to feel it for yourself, you know what I mean? Like I I feel that if I were to say anything, it would ruin the whole movie and I I can't. I have to keep my mouth shut. I, I can't say nothing. I've made promises. Let's see here. Let's do uh let's do a little bit of Seth MacFarlane. There's no American dad, really. There's some Mario, though. Alright. Let's do Goku versus Frieza. I think we might... That might be the better option. You're right? <laughs> Potter versus old Skywalker. That'd be an intriguing fight. Ooh. SSJ Goku, SSR Goku. I didn't realize there were so many Gokus. Piccolo. Oh, man. Oh, buff master. Yes. All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go see the details on uh SSJ. No, I don't like it. He's not he's not built enough for me to want to use him. So let's check I do like that Vegeta, though. I'm digging that Vegeta. Let's check this Goku. We're going with Goku. We're going with this one. We got two forms of Goku. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Majin Buu or Frieza? Choices. Choices. You've never seen Dragon Ball Z. Uh, well, it's it was good. Dragon Ball Z was one of my favorites as a kid. I mean, most animes when I was a kid, I was a, fa uh, a fan of. Um, Inuyasha was probably one of my tops. Uh, Cowboy Beat Bop was really good. There was a few back in the day that I, you know, I watched the crap out of. Bleach. Mr. Popo! <laughs> I like Mr. Popo. Let's see here. Let's, let's, uh, oh, no. Let's check Frieza. I wonder if I can remember how to spell Frieza. F R E I Z A? Maybe it's F R I E Z A. I wonder if that's that whole I before E thing. I bet it's that I before E thing. Yeah, probably. Pretty much with me, if it was anything to do with like fighting or a good story, that was my thing. Hey, 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 there's Frieza. I'm digging this Frieza a lot, the first one. 
And we got a custom one. All right, we'll go with this one. And just for the funsies of it, let's do... Let's do the Flintstone. I got a Fred Flintstone. So does that mean I have a Barney Rubble? See who's the better of the neighbors. digging that I'm not digging that at all so let's see here who else who else let's see here I'm digging in my mind Trying to pull names out of the bucket. Homer Simpson. I'm not digging big headed Homer. Caillou versus Barney. <laughs> I couldn't stand Caillou. I can't stand Caillou. I have tried. I have tried a hundred times. Like, my kids like Caillou. He's a whiny little turd. Caillou is a whiner, and nobody likes a whiner. So, we're going to go Homer Simpson versus Peter Griffin. I'm hoping they have a Peter Griffin. I think they should. Uh, they should. They should. Oh, <laughs> see, you agree. He's a whiner. I'm glad I'm not the only one to think that. A little weird bald kid. I got Stewie Griffin. Where's Peter? Oh, there's Hank Hill. All they got is big-headed Peter. Keith Griffin. Ooh, Homer versus the Mall Cop. Do you think they'd have the Mall Cop? Ah, see, that's a good matchup. Hank versus Peter. Well, see, Homer liked beer, too. You know, Homer, it's Duff beer. There's a lot of Stewie Griffins out there. There's a lot of Stewie Griffins out there. All right, we're going to go Peter, Hank Hill, and Homer Simpson in a triple threat match. You got it. You just called it, Nilsson.
Alright, we're getting out of this. I gotta check my menus. I wanna make sure that my uh, announcers are still turned off because they get in my nerves. There we go. Voices off. There we go. Sound effects, men music, entrance music, all on. Alright. You know, one of these days I'm gonna get into the uh, universe and just set up a. I'm gonna set up a superhero. So, probably after the Christmas break. Uh, the first one will come back to after the Christmas break. I'm gonna do a superhero season. I'm getting Deadpool, Batman, Joker. I'm getting everybody. The Flash, Spider-Man. Oh, excuse me, Spider-Man, Green Lantern, Captain America, Iron Man, the Hulk. All of them, and we're gonna throw them in in a giant superhero beatdown. So the first match we're gonna do tonight. We're going to make it a one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be a... Uh, let's see here. Steel cage? I think we can do a steel cage. And we're going to do custom. In the steel cage. It's going to be Goku. Versus Frieza. Ooh, Goku's outmatched. JR, Corey, Gorilla Monsoon, Dream Commentary Team. See, I can agree. I can agree that, especially JR and Gorilla Monsoon, by far, I really liked it in the Attitude Era with uh, Jerry Lawler. I thought he was a great commentator. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big fan of Booker T. What? Nobody watched it? Oh, man. I'd be way interested. See, on 2K17, I, I did something very similar. I didn't stream it. Um, but Deadpool was reigning Universal Champ. I want to say for... 36 or 40 months, something like that, straight. It was good. It was good. Now coming to the ring, we have Goku. Goku comes from Planet Vegeta. Man of the Stars. Now coming down to the ring. We have Frieza. Homeworld is unknown. He enjoys a diet of shellfish, wine, meat, and milk. And he's a sapient race. He just looks evil. Yeah, I did mess with the custom titles uh, a few times. Um, dang, man, 104 subscribers. Look at you go, man. Do you have 2K, uh, 2K18, Nilsson?
Sweet, man. Well, uh, we're gonna have to get together. Have a couple matches together, man. Make sure to add me on uh, PS... Do you have PS4, Xbox 3... Xbox One, Xbox 360. I'm an old guy. PS4, Xbox One, PC, what do you play on? Uh, most favorite GTA. Well, more than likely it's going to be San Andreas. Uh, you can find me on the PS4, Wicked underscore Ninja 88. I believe I got it in the title there, Nilsson. Uh, but I, I want to say San Andreas is probably one of my favorites of all time. I, I was really a big fan of Vice City, too, though. I liked Vice City a lot. Uh, the whole Scarface theme was just a lot of fun. Tossing suplex from Goku right on the freezer. So you were picking up prostitutes and doing drugs at the age of seven on GTA, huh? That makes me so proud of you, Nilsson. So proud. Another snap suplex by Goku. Frieza with the spear! Goku's got that reversal. Frieza's got full reversal still. Goku with a, a snap drop kick right to Frieza's face. Frieza's up. Frieza reverses. Ooh, and a head smash. Frieza. Oh, Frieza's climbing up the... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Frieza just won the match. Frieza is the... That was a fast match. Holy crap. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. I cannot believe Frieza took that. That was a four-minute beatdown, Nilsson. That was a four-minute beatdown, man. Unbelievable. Well, they're gonna have a rematch before the end of night. I'm not. I'm not doing that. That is crazy. And uh, here we go. We're gonna go with the triple threat. And it's gonna be a. Here we go. 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 Wherever I stop. A ladder match. All right, ladder match. It is. Wherever I stop, whatever whatever cartoon character I'm closest to will be who I am. Uh, so that would be... We're going to go down. It looks like I'm Hank Hill. We're not going NXT TakeOver. We're not doing that. We're going to go... Uh, we're going to go TLC here. I got to find it now. Where did it go? Where did it go? I know you hurt somewhere. Did I pass it? I don't think I passed it. 
There it is, TLC. Oh, that's 2016. They got anything more? They do not. D do they? No. No, they don't. I don't see it. Where is it? Uh, no, they don't. Okay, so TLC 16. Uh, there we go. <laughs> Beer on a pole match. There you go. <laughs> Oh, I wish I'd have seen your WrestleMania. Your WrestleMania just came in. That would be a good WrestleMania match. Well, I'm going to be honest. I'm not really holding my breath for Peter Griffin. Uh, I'm not really sure how he's going to do. Uh, Homer Simpson's looking pretty mean in that Austin and that Austin, uh, that that Austin vest there, but that no propane tank top by Hank Hill himself. Coming straight out of Dallas, Texas, Hank, the propane man. Propane nightmare. <laughs> Bull! Damn it, Bobby! Uh, I, I do okay at it. I actually know a guy that's way better. Way, way better than I'll ever be. Hank Hill's the grilling man. If you got charcoal, get rid of it. Head on down to propane and propane accessories and visit Hank Hill. That is just the weirdest head I've ever seen. He's got like a butt thing going down the top of it. Now wait, are them fireworks lit off by propane? Are those sparklers? Now I do a terrible Peter Griffin and a horrible Homer. Didn't expect that. I'm not really sure what's going on in the crotchular region of Hank Hill. I don't know if that's a speedo thing or like his bush. <laughs> I'm not really sure what's going on there. Kind of creeping me out a little bit, I'm gonna be honest. Now I know those flames are propane. This is pretty fabulous. This is a pretty fabulous entrance. I'm actually digging it a lot. I like what they did with it. Uh, the music is perfect. I know you guys can't hear it, but I can hear it. Download this character. It, it's, it's just a good entrance. That's a good entrance. That's one thing I like about 2K18. They've got great entrances. Nilsson, what do you think of the whole Kevin Owens, uh, Sami Zayn, Shinsuke Nakamura, and Randy Orton match? Pretty intense, right? Now coming straight out of Springfield. It's Homer the J. Simpson. Okay, now his head's kind of freaking me out too. Just a little bit. Stone Cold Homer. <laughs> Stone Cold. <laughs> Stone. <laughs> Coming right out of Quahog, Rhode Island, Peter Griffin. 
Chapman. <laughs> Give Homer a beer because he said so. That is what they needed. I wish they had the beer uh, motion in here. You know, the old Stone Cold where he'd smash the beer and it'd go everywhere. That would have been great. That would have been great. Yeah, Peter's head is really cre He's like bald on the back half. That is... Kind of looks like a ball sack. Very fleshy. Ugh. Ugh. Hank Hill going right for the bat of Peter Griffin, smashing into the face of Homer Simpson. Peter Griffin grabbing the ladder early in the match. Homer with a reversal. Peter Griffin setting for something, going to hit Homer in the side. Hank Hill's getting the reverse. What's going on? Peter Griffin is up. I know how to push the Dagon ladder. Get out of here, Homer. What are you doing? Homer took a lot of pain early on in the match. Peter Griffin's out of the ring. Hank Hill setting his eyes back on Homer. Ooh, a little snap nair action. Er, neck breaker. Oh, no, Hank Hill on the edge. Peter going after Hank. Homer's going after Hank. Peter's getting the ladder back. Peter wants that money in the bank case. You better get in there and stop him, Homer. Ah, uh, the computer's against me. Now Hank's going up. I know how to do this. Ooh, Homer Simpson. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Homer's got it. Hank Hill is still tired out. Hank's got Peter in the grip. What a beautiful pile driver. Hank calls this one the tap the pro bang. Hank's going up the ladder. He ain't gonna let him have it. Ooh! Hank Hill thrown off the ladder by Homer Simpson again. Oh, Hank Hill's out of the ring. He is tired out. A little bit of Hank, a little bit of Homer on Peter action here. Oh, the one, two, one, two from the Homer. Hank Hill's going up the ladder, or up the rope. Ooh, right into a flying elbow to Homer, who was climbing up the ladder 
Peter's down, Homer's down, Hank Hill is worn out. All hail the propane king. He's going up the ladder. And Hank got it. Hank is the winner. He is the Fox champion of the evening. Look at that beautiful propane tapper. <laughs> I know, right? Go Hank. Now that was a good triple threat match. Proud to be a part of it. Well, the faster the matches, the more there's going to be. I'm going to be filling up an hour's time. So, have no fear there, Nelson. We're going to be packed full of wrestling action on this Wednesday fight night. All right, the next one we are going for is going to be a... We're going to make it a another one-on-one. -on -one. It's going to be... A false count anywhere match. We're going with custom superstars. Ooh, should I be Voldemort or Harry Potter? Let's see here. All right, if it's heads, I'm Harry. If it's tails, I'm Voldemort. Siri, heads or tails? Heads. Okay, it looks like I'm Harry Potter. Or wait. Siri, flip a coin. Heads. All right, it's heads. I'm Harry Potter. Now we're going for Voldemort. Bash at the beach. Halloween Havoc. I'm thinking Halloween Havoc is kind of what I'm feeling for this match. I might save Halloween Havoc. I might save it for another match. This is a Falls Counts Anywhere. Anything else screaming to me? I think Halloween Havoc. Siri, pick the best option. Halloween Havoc or SummerSlam? I found this on the web. That's not what I'm asking you, Siri. Don't do that. It is a spooky match. I like your thinking. We're going Halloween Havoc. Ooh, Hell in a Cell. See, I might save Hell in a Cell because I'm going to go back to the downloader. I'm going to get Jason Voorhees versus Mike Myers for a Hell in the Cell. I like your thinking, Nielsen. That's going to happen tonight. Let's go with a uh, old school referee. No, no, no. World class referee? Well, I mean, we are dealing with uh, England, so might as well go world class, so. Here it is, Halloween Havoc with Harry Potter and Voldemort. Jason versus Michael versus Leatherface versus Freddy. That would be a good Hell in a Cell. I'd pay to see that match. Coming straight from Godric's Hollow. He's the man who beat you know who. He bears the lightning scar. He is a Gryffindor. Harry Potter!
little bit of AJ Styles motion there. I'm down with that. He is phenomenal. He is phenomenal. Yeah, I do wish it was a movie too. He who must not be named, the heir to Slytherin, coming from Wool's Orphanage in London, England. He is a half-blood, but he's one of the most darkest wizards of his time. Originally named Tom Marvelo Riddle, he now stands before you as Lord Voldemort! You know, this is actually a very suiting entrance for Lord Voldemort. Especially since he's the Voldemort that came back in the in the graveyard. Very suiting. No emotion. <laughs> You mean you can't brush and type at the same time, Nielsen? What kind of multitasker are you? <laughs> that would be weird trying to text while brushing your teeth. You'd just be tapping random letters. Now, I believe this was a Falls Count Anywhere match. Harry with the flying clothesline right off the bat. Yeah, look at that. Falls Count Anywhere. I can go anywhere I want. A little backhand action from the Harry. Ooh, Voldemort just taking a beating right now. I expected more out of the Lord of Darkness. And a choke slam! Going after the scar. Hey, JoJo, what's going on, brother man? Welcome to Wednesday Fight Nights with the Rocky Mountain Slackers. I'm your host, Wicked Underscore Ninja. Tonight we are doing a few matches. We've already had Peter Griffin versus Hank Hill versus Homer Simpson, right? Hank Hill took the Money in the Bank case in a TLC match. The match prior to that was a cage match, Goku versus Frieza. Frieza taking the win after just four minutes. Right now, we've got Harry Potter versus the he who must not be named, Lord Voldemort. Uh-oh, little Irish whip action. Harry reverses it. Harry setting up for the signature. Beautiful. Setting up for the finisher. Little Styles clash here. Bam! There it was. He is 
the chosen one. Harry going up to the top rope. What's, was that a 540? I believe that was a 540. Harry egotistically antagonizing Lord Voldemort to get up and come at him, bro. Come at him. Ooh, a punch to the scar. Another punch to the scar. And a third punch to the scar. Harry is rolling out of the ring. Lord Voldemort just taking his time, seeing his situation. Harry's got some skill. Harry's got some skill. He is the chosen one after all. Well, was. <laughs> Good point. A little reverse action from Harry Potter. With the fly. Oh! Tried a flying elbow drop. Slightly missed. But enough connection to really daze Lord Voldemort. Harry's got a chair. Harry tells Voldemort, have a seat. Oh, and a reverse. Harry into the announcer's table. Ooh, a little bit of brain cramp action. Harry's pulling him off. Voldemort tried doing the Avada Kedavra, couldn't land it. Harry with an Expelliarmus. Oh, and Lord Voldemort with the double Expelliarmus, reversing that. A little drop kick action from Voldemort. Oh, trying to take another swing at the scar. Harry reversed it. Another reversal. He's got him up. Reversal. Man. Voldemort is reversing. Harry's reversing. This is just a to and fro match. Hey, appreciate the subscribe, JoJo. Thanks for tuning in. We're actually just a new thing starting up. This is actually only my second live stream of Wednesday Fight Night. We've got live streams Monday through Friday. A couple different, uh, a couple different people that do the streams. Uh, this is my night. I choose this game because it's fun. Oh, there's a pin. There's a pin. Voldemort's got the one, two, and no! Harry couldn't reverse it! Wow! Wow! Unbelievable. I cannot believe that. I cannot believe Voldemort just got the win over Harry Potter. What type of dark age is about to befall the world now that the Dark Lord, Voldemort himself, he who must not be named. How? How did this happen? Hey, appreciate that, JoJo. We really do. Uh, every week, man, we'll be doing this. We're getting ready to, after this is all set up, we're going to get into the next match. That, that just totally, my mind is blown. My heart is sunk. I cannot believe the Dark Lord prevailed. This is unbelievable. JoJo, do you have any suggestions on who you would like to see in a matchup? Man, unbelievable. All right, we're going to go to community creations <laughs> I like that uh yeah, that's a good question ain't it that's a real good one I'll tell you what <laughs> I ain't never had a good question like that before in my life son <laughs> all right here we go we're gonna go Freddy Freddy Krueger did I spell Freddy wrong I did I forgot an E how could I forget an E Okay, let's try that again. F-R-E-D-D-Y. Which Freddy do I like more? Do I like that weird looking Freddy over there? Here's how we're gonna tell. All right, that's the Freddy it's gonna be right there. Well, that's actually what we were talking about. They, they kind of look the same. Uh, the other Freddy had more of like a pop mark face. And if you notice, he doesn't really have the claws. He's got this weird effed up hand. But the Freddy I chose has the, has the claw glove on. And I, I'm digging that more. I'm digging that a little more. 
Uh, uh, there's some Jason Voorhees. Alright, let's look up uh, Leatherface, because we know where Jason is. Leatherface. Oh, we got Leatherface. Ooh, which Leatherface? Bubba Sawyer. That's I do like Bubba Sawyer. That's a good one. You know, here's my question. Does this guy kind of look like Isaac Yankum? I mean, to me, I see Isaac Yankum all day long. All right, now that we got JoJo, or not JoJo, now that we got Leatherface and Freddy Krueger, we got a JoJo though. JoJo's hanging out. JoJo's ready for more. All right, now let's let's see what we can get with Mike Myers. I hope it doesn't get get after me. If I get like Austin Powers, I might actually be excited. Oh, uh, hey, wait a minute now. Wait a minute now. Hey, y'all, what's going on here, man? Ooh, I don't like that's creepy, dead Mike. <laughs> All right, let's try Michael Myers. M I C H E L? How do we spell that? Let me. We're going to ask the Google Michael Myers. Michael Myers. M I C H A E L. M Y E R S. There we go. There we go. Seen enough. Don't you even pull that with me, JoJo. Yeah, I got the deluxe edition as well, JoJo. Hey, Isaiah, what's going on, brother man? Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for subscribing. Glad you're here. Welcome to Wednesday Fight Night with Wicked underscore Ninja 88 uh, on the Rocky Mountain Slacker channel. So let's see here. We just got Michael. I'm seeing Michael Jackson. I might have to do a match with Michael Jackson sometime. I'm going to see how that goes. All right. Now we need Jason Voorhees. Jason X. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think I'm digging this Jason more than I'm digging this Jason. Let's take a preview. Let's take a preview, see how they look up. 
Michael Jackson versus Elvis. Ooh, two kings. Two kings. That's That, that might be a good match right there. Ooh, he's got blood on his feet. I don't know. I'm kind of digging this Jason here. Let's take a look back at him again. Yeah, I think I'm digging the one with the blood on his feet a little bit more. Let's double check this guy here. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm definitely digging the first Jason I saw. Hey, no problem, JoJo, no problem at all. Anybody and all people are welcome here on Wednesday Fight Night with the Rocky Mountain Slackers. Anybody's welcome. By the way, guys, if you like my content here, head over to SoundCloud and iTunes and check out the Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast. Slacker Cast is one word. Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast. That's just me, a couple of my buddies, doing a podcast, what we do. Uh, we've also got another one. If you guys like the video game Fortnite, we have a podcast called Once in a Fortnite where we talk about the video game Fortnite. It's great. It's great. Hey, appreciate that, man. I try to be try to be as polite as possible. You know, you never know who you're going to come across in the world, and there's no need to be a jerk, right? Only in wrestling should you ever be a jerk. And out the door I went. All right, guys. Who should I be? Freddy Krueger. Should I be Jason Voorhees, Leatherface, or Mike Myers? I'm going to let you guys pick. Hey, no problem, Nilsson. It's, it's an acquired taste. Live life positive. That's a good motto, buddy. All right, Nilsson says Jason. JoJo, who you got? Isaiah, who you think? JoJo says Jason. I got two for Jason. Isaiah, unfortunately, buddy, that makes you the odd man out this time. Jason's got an overall 100. Leatherface is an overall 100. Let's see how this goes. Oh, it looks like we're going money in the bank. I didn't even set the match up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, guys. I, I don't know if I like that. I, I might have to back out of the match just to make sure I get us in a Hell in the Cell match with a Hell in a Cell pay-per-view event. I mean, because we got to be consecutive, right? Isaiah, why you leave me, Isaiah? I thought we were friends. You know, yeah, I know, right? Hell in the cell at Money in the Bank. It's, it's a little messed up there, ain't it? You know, I think I figured out why all scary people, except for, you know, clearly Freddy Krueger, because Freddy Krueger's got his own voice. But here's why all horror guys don't talk. Because I'm pretty sure most of them talk like this. Well, hi, my name's Jason Voorhees, and I just don't like the state of the world, so I kill naked people on a beach. Right, I gotta get through this. I can't, I can't do money in the bank. I can't. I can't. I can't. I just can't. It's so weird seeing that green in the background. I I don't even want to do it. I don't even, I, I can't even, you know what I mean? All 
All right, let me get the match set up the appropriate way. I apologize, guys. I totally flopped that. I flopped it. Hell in a Cell. I don't know why it even gave me Money in the Bank as an option. Oh, see, now it gives me Hell in the Cell. Craziness. All right, now we're, now we're back. Now we're back. <clears throat> Coming to the ring straight out of Crystal Lake. He was a man troubled by a life of solitude. Nobody wanted to be his friend but his mother. It's none other than Jason Voorhees! Jason Voorhees likes casual walks on the beach with the occasional stabbing of a random female teen. But be careful, if you fall, his slow progressive walking will catch up and he'll get ya. And just because you're a, a male, think you're in the clear? I think not. Jason also likes to take out the occasion, the occasional teen male. Not on a date, unless the date's with a nice machete. Now, coming to the ring, right out of Haddonfield, Illinois, he was a troubled child who wanted to be a clown, and his sister wouldn't take him around town for candy. It's Michael Myers! Michael Myers likes lonely walks through town on the late Hallow's Eve. Don't go near his home, or any home for that matter. He's got a low stalking stature, and he's not afraid to take you or anyone out.
Well, I think that it would take so long. I mean, the only one that really could die is Leatherface. You know, Jason, you could kill and stab and kill and stab, but he never dies. And uh, Mike Myers, it's the same thing. You can kill and stab, and he's never going to die, right? Uh, Freddy Krueger, I mean, he's a nightmare, you know? It's hard to kill a dream. Unless you're an adult, then dreams are always dying. Coming right out of unparts unknown, unparts, <laughs> coming out of parts unknown of Texas. He's from Texas, we know that. Just unknown of whereabouts in Texas he's from. It's the one, the only, Leatherface. <laughs> That's just strawberry jam on my apron, y'all. You ain't even got to worry about that. I like putting mud masks on my face, you know, because it, it, it gets rid of the pores and whatnot. Leatherface likes lonely walks through the outback of Texas. Alone, man. But if you happen to go down his dark, dirty road in Texas, you'll find yourself tied up in a basement of a two-story house in the middle of Texas, which nobody knows where that is exactly. That little cactus jack, that is a little cactus jack, isn't it? Coming straight from your nightmares. He's the man with a deadly nightmarish plan. Right off of Elm Street, which is two blocks down from Sesame Street. Freddy Krueger! Well, this is just a silent entrance. There's no music. It's just Freddy Krueger. Walking down the, walking down the, 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 the access ramp. Uh, Freddy Krueger just walking down the access ramp with with a lantern. Uh, no music. Yep. Yep. Just uh, holding my lantern. You gotta make sure I know where I'm going. I'm half blind. I mean, you spend all your time in a nightmare, you know, it's kind of dark in there. You only come around when people are asleep. Oop, there's a rope. Yep, swing my lantern. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I got a burnt face, I look like bacon. Jason's ready, look at him. Jason is ready to go. In the back, cracking his neck. Blow it out. Oh, no, he, uh, he blew on the light and it lit up the whole room. Okie dokie. That makes sense, I guess. In the world of WWE. <laughs> In the WWE universe, that makes total sense. Just throw it. Just throw the lantern as far as you can. Into the crowd. Hit somebody. Jason's ready. <laughs> yeah, Nilsson, you're right. This match is going to be a nightmare. I'm eager to see who wins. Jason looking right at Leatherface. Immediate slam to the chest. Going after Michael Myers now. Michael's just getting out of the ring. See, look. You can hit him all day. He ain't going down. Back at Leatherface. He's got him up. Getting him ready for a suplex. 
Freddy Krueger immediately taken to Michael Myers outside the ring. Jason giving a big boot to Leatherface. Freddy Krueger slamming Mike Myers right into the ring post. While Jason Voorhees gives Leatherface the old one two one two and a nice little toss. Well, looks like Jason's looking at Freddy. Going after Freddy now. Nice uppercut to Freddy's face. Just a classic matchup. Freddy versus Jason. Ooh, Freddy with a reversal on Jason. Leatherface giving Mike Myers a couple stomps to the leg. Now Jason's giving a nice lumbar punch to Freddy Krueger. I mean, the stature is absolutely outstanding. Now Freddy is outside the ring, and Jason's going after him. Mike Myers giving Leatherface to 1-2 over. Ooh, Leatherface with a clothesline to Mike Myers right into the, ro uh, the rope post. Mike, Jason has Freddy right up in the air. Going for a slam. Oh, a reversal by Freddy. Leatherface getting flipped over Mike Myers' shoulder. Now Freddy giving Jason the one-two. Another reversal by Freddy. Straight to the jaw of Jason Voorhees. Oh, there we go. Jason getting back at Freddy now with a reversal. Another one. And another one. Oh, looks like Jason's got him. Jason's going for a signature. Oh, nice little back stretcher for Freddy Krueger. Oh, it looks like a reversal here. Now Mike Myers has got Leatherface on the top rope. Leatherface off the top rope with a clothesline to Mike Myers. Looks like Freddy Krueger. Ooh, little, little growing buster there from Freddy Krueger straight to Jason Voorhees. And a backbreaker coming from Leatherface to Mike Myers. Is that Mike? Mike Myers is removing the turnbuckle. Oh, Leatherface has Mike Myers in a headlock. Freddy Krueger's up. Freddy Krueger's off with the double hammer throwdown. Freddy Krueger is giving Jason Voorhees the one over. Looks like Freddy's going up. Just a little taunting action. Mike Myers giving Leatherface the good working here. Leatherface with a reversal. A little snap nair action there. Mike Myers is down. Freddy Krueger is really laying in to Jason Voorhees. Jason Voorhees finally making a comeback now. Going after, going after Leatherface. Oh, here we go. Ooh, Dragon DDT. Everybody's outside the ring. The ref is down. Couple gut punches to Leatherface from Jason Voorhees. Leatherface gets Jason back in the ring. Mike Myers is going after Leatherface. Ooh, a slap to the jaw. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Mike Myers is right on Jason Voorhees. Freddy Krueger comes in. Freddy still is not done with Jason Voorhees. There is a vengeance to be paid. Looks like Jason is heading out of the ring. Leatherface and Jason are both out, tired and down. Freddy Krueger clotheslines Mike Myers outside the ring. Couple stomps, throws Leatherface back into the ring. Now Freddy's after uh, Leatherface here. Jason is up. Mike Myers is down. Oh, that's a pin. That's a pin. Jason had to break that up quick. Oh, and a reversal by Leatherface sending Jason Voorhees out of the ring. Mike Myers sending Leatherface out of the ring. Kruger out of the ring. Now J Mike Myers is out, giving the stomp to Leatherface's knee. Leatherface kick to the gut by Mike Myers. Jason's back up, rolling into the ring. Oh, he's on it now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Reverse choke slam. Reverse choke slam by Jason Voorhees to Leatherface. Oh, and the referee is down. Jason ain't having none of this count out. 
Looks like Freddy's getting up. Jason with the choke slam to Freddy Krueger. Here it comes. Ooh, no choke slam, just a, a gut punch. Hey, Nicholas, welcome to Wednesday Fight Night with the Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast. Another uppercut by Jason to Freddy Krueger. This has been one exciting Hell in a Cell match. Leatherface getting slammed into the non-turnbuckle. That's right, Mike Myers earlier in the match removed the turnbuckle from that back corner and now is slamming, was slamming Leatherface's face into that metal bar. <gasps> oh no! Jason Voorhees has a busted open head. Freddy Krueger going in for the claw! He's got the claw! And he slams Jason Voorhees to the ground! Oh, Mike Myers and Freddy now duking it out. Leatherface down, Jason Voorhees down. Mike Myers picking up Jason Voorhees. Is he gonna go for attack team? No, he's gonna go to attack. Sending Jason Voorhees out of the ring. Freddy Krueger is now out of the ring. Leatherface coming to, Mike Myers is getting out. Where is he going? There was nobody over there. Up, oh, going ring, ring bound. Jason Voorhees going for Freddy Krueger. I don't think he's had enough of this. Sending Freddy back into the ring. Going up top. Jason off the top rope. Oh, with a reversal from Freddy Krueger. Jason now out of the ring. Freddy Krueger hot on his tail. Another reversal by Freddy Krueger. Sending Jason Voorhees back in the ring. Mike Myers, a reversal by Leatherface on Mike Myers. Looks like Freddy's setting up for the claw again. There's the claw, and it's been stopped by Leatherface. I don't know where my, I don't know where Jason was going there. Oh, here we go. Reverse choke slam. Nope, just a strangle. Jason is strangling Leatherface, putting him to sleep. Leatherface is out. Now it's up to Freddy and Jason. Another reversal by Freddy. And he's got the claw on Jason again. He's got the claw. Uh-oh. This could be it, ladies and gentlemen. This could be it. This could be it. Oh, Jason Voorhees submitted. Freddy Krueger's the winner of the Hell in a Cell match. What a match. What a match. Look at this action. Slam! Mike Myers straight down on Leatherface. Leatherface giving Freddy the one, two, one, two. Jason's looking at him like, I don't think so, punk. Boom, right to the back of the head. Here, here's a strangling technique, just strangling with a reverse chokehold on Leatherface. I can't believe Freddy Krueger won. I cannot believe it. Wow, what a match. What a match. That got my blood flowing. That was a good match. Congratulations to Freddy Krueger on that. I'm very proud of that match. Absolutely proud of that match. Now we're going to revisit one of the matches we had earlier in the night. we got to get back to some of these revenge matches. And the first one we're going to go with is Goku versus Frieza. Now earlier, Frieza took the match. It was a, it was a cage match. Frieza versus Goku. We're going to revisit this match with a good old-fashioned Extreme Rules. Now we're going to do three rematches tonight. The first one is going to be Frieza versus Goku. Then we're going to go back to a rematch. We're going to go back to another rematch. And that rematch is going to be the Voldemort versus Harry Potter match. We're going to have another rematch between Hank Hill 
Homer Simpson and Peter Griffin, because last time Hank Hill took it in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Great match. Let's see how things turn out with the second round. We're going to make this one the Japan Super Show because, well, anime comes from Japan, so why not? We're also going to have a rematch with Harry Potter versus Lord Voldemort in a Falls Count Anywhere match where Lord Voldemort took the win over Harry Potter. An absolutely outstanding match. And then to finalize the evening, we're going to go back to Jason, back to Mike Myers, back to Freddy Krueger, and back to Leatherface, and we're going to make it a Tornado Tag no elimination match. <laughs> the matches here tonight have been absolutely exciting. They've been short. I agree, Nilsson. They have been short. They've been on the four minute side. There's been a lot of quick wins. Uh, last week, you know, some of those matches lasted 10 minutes. So this time I decided to go with Frieza as my playable character. Last time I was Goku. So the, each match, I'm going to switch up who I play as. Coming from parts unknown in the galaxy, it's the cold man, Frieza! I have to say that the creator of this character, I think they did a really good job from the helmet to the body armor. I mean, I really feel like this is Frieza, you know? Looks good. Looks really good. Ah, Nick says he needs to be a little more menacing. You know, I can actually agree with that. A little more menacing in his entrance. I agree. Uh, Jojo, Frieza is an evil villain off of Dragon Ball Z. Uh, That's an old anime. Uh, came out in, I believe, the early 90s, mid 90s, early 90s. Uh, anybody want to do a fact check on that? Coming from planet Vegeta, the Super Saiyan himself, Goku! Giving a dab on it. You know, with Goku, now that Nick brought up a very good point that Frieza needed to be more menacing, Goku is uh, also casual. You know, I, I would expect more energy. No dab, no. No dab, no. Let's start a chant. No dab, no. No dab, no. No dab, no. Okay, it's just me now at this point. I should stop. Frieza breaking out. Freeze ain't even waiting for it. He's just coming in straight for the attack. That is what we call a breakout in the world of WWE, where you don't even wait for them to finish their entrance. You just go at it. You want this to be over with. There we go. Now I got some no dabs, no. Freeze with the heavy clothesline on, on Goku. Picking him up now. Setting him up. Oh. Oh, Goku with a little reverse action, taking the heel right across Freeze's face. Go, where's Goku going? Vegeta, what are you doing? Uh-oh, Goku's got a bat. Oh, a bat right across the dome of Frieza. I think I think Goku's now leaving the arena. Nope, he's coming back. He put the bat down and he's coming back. Little cockiness out of Vegeta there after 
breaking out and immediately attacking Goku unsuspectingly. Little kick to the gut by Frieza. Ooh, a little backbreaker action. Frieza going up to the top rope with the flying elbow drop right off the top rope onto Goku's ribs. <clears throat> Looks like Goku's going out of the ring. Frieza off the curtain with the backdrop, Santan Bomb. And another low clothesline by Frieza. Little headbutt action from Frieza to Goku's chest. <clears throat> Jojo, what you talking about, boy? What you talking about? Goku got the reverse. Now he's got Frieza back in the ring. A little lumbar smack. Goku, re Frieza reversing into two spears into the turnbuckles. A little booty action there. And a 540 right from the mat. Not off the top rope, not as a springboard. 540 mid-mat. Beautiful action. Frieza picking up the baseball bat now. Frieza getting... Frieza getting back in the ring. Ooh, right to the calf. Another one to the calf of Goku. Right to the lumbar of Goku. This match seems just outweighed. Looks like Frieza may take it again. Frieza setting him up. Getting ready to hit a pin on him. There's the pin. Oh, he gave up on it. He gave up on it. Frieza with a couple one, two, one, twos. A little backhand action. Another kick to the chest. Another kick to the chest. And a kick to the chest again. What a beautiful special. Frieza setting up for an oh my god. Is he gonna? Around the world. Could it be? Yes, it's around the world. Frieza is taking Goku around the world. Beautiful replay. Frieza is taking this match by storm. Frieza heading back up to the top rope. A stomp to the... I look like the shin. I, we're going to say it was the shin. Goku reverses. Drop kick to Frieza. Go, oh. Uh-oh. Goku with the stomps. I, I agree, Jojo. As many subs as you can. Tell your friends about us. Like, share, subscribe. You know what to do. Hit that button. Goku heading back out of the ring. Frieza to follow. Another 540 straight from the ground. Ooh, a little DDT action. Goku's going for a weapon again. Frieza putting a stop to that. Another reversal by Goku. Frieza going back in the ring. Goku soon to follow. Another reversal. And a head slam by Frieza right into the chest of Goku. What's Frieza getting? Frieza's pulling out a table. What are you doing, Frieza? Uh-oh. Could it be? Is Goku going through the table? Goku through the table from the ring! Beautiful powerbomb by Frieza 
to Goku to outside the ring and through the table. Goku making a quick comeback. It's that Super Saiyan ability that he's got that's keeping him from going downtown. I don't know where he was sending Frieza that time, but he sent him somewhere. Dropkick by Frieza straight to Goku's chest. Frieza with another, oh my god. Power bomb into a pin. No pin, submission. Goku taps. Goku tapped. But it doesn't count because they're outside the ring. And the pin and submission needs to be in the ring to count. Uh-oh. Frieza setting up for another one. Through the barricade. Frieza with a beautiful spear to Goku right through the barricade. Man, I don't even know how Goku can survive after all of this. Right into the right into the ring post. Goku has got to be worn out. <laughs> that 12 year old's not having a good night I tell you what hey I appreciate it Nelson I appreciate it Jojo that's what I strive for here just to bring you guys top quality entertainment on this beautiful Wednesday night Ooh, a nice reversal by Goku making Frieza lose that elbow drop oh a kick to the back of the head by Goku straight to Frieza oh and a kick to the face Goku's going in for the pin. A little bit of resiliency there. Frieza is being worn down. Uh-oh. Goku's setting up for a charged finisher. Oh! And it's a Super Saiyan! Kamehameha! And a 540 off the middle turnbuckle right into Frieza's chest. Oh, reversal by Frieza. Skull to the chin with a headbutt to the face. Going in for the pin. One, two, three. And Frieza's the winner. What a beautiful match. What a beautiful match. A lot of action. There's that barricade. Can't believe Frieza put him right through the barricade. Uh-oh. Is that Braun Strowman? Braun Strowman coming in. Coming after Frieza. Braun Strowman misses. Now Frieza's taking on Braun Strowman. What a surprising end. Braun Strowman coming in to help out his buddy Goku. Now Frieza is trying to take down Braun Strowman. Absolutely outstanding. Braun Strowman known for his beautiful strength, just his giant man pectorals and a beautiful ponytail. Couple, oh, a little reversal action by Braun Strowman. Oh, and a smack to the face to Frieza. This was completely unexpected. Freezer reversing with a headbutt to Braun. Ooh, and another reversal by Braun Strowman. Ooh. Another reversal by Frieza. And Braun Strowman reverses again. Nielsen, you got it, buddy. Frieza versus Braun Strowman. We've got to keep this match going. I can't believe Braun Strowman came out after the match, totally unplanned, totally unsuspected, just in support of Goku. I can't believe that Goku and Braun Strowman are in alliance. 
I never expected an alliance of Braun Strowman and Goku. I mean, you're talking about the ultimate power in the universe, the Super Saiyan Goku versus the ultimate power in the WWE Universe, which is Braun Strowman, a man of mayhem, a destruction of a just beyond fathomable belief. This was crazy. Absolutely outstanding. All right, I'm writing it down. Frieza, Braun Strowman next week. Frieza v. Braun. I'm digging that. I'm digging that. Wow. All right, guys. We're going back to the triple threat. Last time we had a TLC. Well... No, last time we had a ladder match. I think this time we're going to go. Ooh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one. You know what? Let's go TLC. Let's go TLC. Keeping it relative. Keeping it relative. We're going to make this. And we're going to make it a title match. All right, last time I was Hank Hill. So should I, all right, here's how we're gonna decide. Heads is Homer, tails is Peter. Siri, flip a coin. It's, oops, it rolled under the bed. Oh, Siri, why did it roll under the bed? Siri, flip a coin. It's heads. It's heads, looks like I'm Homer. Now what's the what what title shall it be? Does it even give me an option for that? Or is it just gonna randomly give me a title? I think that's it right there. Oh here we go, now I get to select the championship. Let's make this the uh The million dollar championship is what this is. This is going to be the million dollar championship tables, ladders, and chair match between Homer Simpson, Hank Hill, and Peter Griffin. I'm excited. This, this is going to be an exciting match. Coming out of Dallas, Texas, he's the one and only, the man with a plan, and a can of propane. Oh, no. Why did it say Dallas, Texas? I lied. <laughs> Coming out of Springfield. Homer J. Simpson! Dallas, Texas. It lied to me! Why did it lie to me? <laughs> Still creeped out by his face, though. I'm not gonna lie. Still creeped out.
Glorious. I like that. I like Glorious. I'm a Bobby Roode fan. Coming right out of Quahog, Rhode Island. He's the man who always screws everything up. It's Peter <laughs> Griffin. I think we're going to have to do Peter Griffin versus the chicken. Peter's head still creeps me out. I used to watch Bobby's Bobby Roode's dad wrestle back in the day. Yeah, I'm that old. I used to watch uh, Rick Roode a lot. I was I was a fan of Rick Roode as well. Coming right out of Texas, it's your man with a propane can, Hank. Hill! See, I liked uh, Dusty Rhodes, too, back in the day. Man, Dusty Rhodes, he, that elbow, man, that elbow was something to be feared. You know what I'm saying? A lot of good wrestlers came out of the 80s and 90s, and it was unbelievable. What? You're going to miss the rematch of a lifetime, JoJo? It's a TLC title match. <laughs> Take it easy, buddy. Have a good night. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for subscribing. We are on every Wednesday night. It's Wednesday Fight Nights here at the Rocky Mountain Slackers, and we appreciate you stopping by. Here it goes. Homer Simpson immediately going for Hank Hill, wanting that vengeance back from the last match. Peter Griffin again, going straight for the ladder. That's what he did last time. Oh, a little slam to the head by the ladder from Peter Griffin. Hank taking the ladder away from Peter, saying, dang it, Bobby, don't be touching my ladder. And Peter Griffin took it back. I don't know what Homer was trying to... Peter Griffin is just causing mayhem with the ladder. A little reverse action. A little reverse action on both ends. Homer Simpson coming in with the... Ooh, combos. And there's Peter again with the ladder. Peter wants this title. He felt a little cheated after the last match. I'm taking it. Oh, <laughs> Hank Hill taking the ladder again. Hank Hill's kind of mad. He wants to take out Peter Griffin. Homer sizing up Peter Griffin. Getting him up.
Now, I don't know what Homer was trying to do there. Two missed strikes. And a power slam. Not what I'm trying to do. Get off. Get off the ladder. Oh, you're pulled off the ladder by Peter Griffin. Uh-oh, Hank's going up. Peter better stop it. Hank's got the belt. Homer and Peter took the ladder away. Peter caught it. Hank Hill taking him down. Now Homer's turned the tide on Peter Griffin. Now going after Hank Hill. Hank Hill giving Peter, Homer the boot to the face. Little bit of neck breaker there from Homer or from Hank Hill onto Homer. Now Peter and Hank are going at it. Hank giving Peter Griffin a kick to the gut. Setting him up for a suplex. No! It's another awkwardly placed propane setter by Hank Hill. He's going up for the belt. Peter's down, Homer's down. Uh-oh, this, this is giving Hank Hill every opportunity he needs. Oh, there it goes, it's gone again. Peter Griffin catching Hank Hill. Homer going for the ladder, getting smacked right in the back of the ribs by Peter Griffin. Peter Griffin, beautiful DDT to Homer Simpson. And that red flash means that Homer is now split open. We've got blood pouring from Homer's head. <laughs> Homer's always going to save the day. He ain't no duff man, but he's something. Uh-oh. It looks like Peter's going to get the belt. Homer's putting a stop. Uh-oh. Homer's got Peter. Homer taking out Hank Hill now. Homer wants Hank out of the ring. Little reverse action from Hank Hill. Ew, and a sidewalk slam from Homer to Hank Hill. Stunner! It's a Homer Simpson stunner! Homer down, Peter down, Hank is doing a dance, making a little love, but he's not getting down tonight. Homer with another missed elbow, a little backhand smack from Hank Hill. There we go, now he's got him, now he's got him in his sights. Hank Hill reversed with a nice punch to Homer's head, taking Homer out of the ring by tossing him over the ropes. Now Hank Hill's out of the ring, everybody's now out of the ring. Hank's got a chair. Oh. Homer was nice to recover. Couple kicks to the gut by Hank Hill. Ooh, a slam into the barricade by Hank Hill right to Homer. Peter now going in for a back suplex. Bouncing Homer Simpson's head off the steps. Those steel steps are hard, ladies and gentlemen. Now Peter Griffin's got the chair. Homer's going up. Peter's more focused on Homer Simpson. How dare you take my Friday night lineup or Sunday night lineup, whatever the heck it is. There's blood on the chair. There's blood on the chair. Oh, Hank Hill got it. Hank Hill's the winner. He's the million dollar winner of this TLC matchup. What a great match, ladies and gentlemen. That was freaking beautiful. Hank Hill, man. That man knows all about propane and wrestling. Hank did it again. Yes, he did. I don't like the way Hank Hill looks at that belt. I wish somebody would look at me the way Hank looks at that belt. Propine! Ball! I won! <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe Hank did it. Peter let him take the belt. gum. Homer didn't even have a chance.
Now we're getting back into the one-on-one -on -one match. It's going to be a submission match. Meaning you got to submit to lose. We're going to go to Battleground this time. World class referee. Now last time I was Harry Potter. So I feel obligated to go Voldemort this time. We're going to make it a title match. We're going to make it the WCW World Heavyweight Championship, the New World Order, because that's what it was always about, right? You know, Voldemort wanted a New World Order. Harry was trying to defend the original World Order. So why not? NWO. It seems, it seems legit. Coming right out of London, England, at the Wolves Orphanage. It's he who must not be named, the Dark Lord himself, once known as Tom Marvelo Riddle. He is the heir to Slytherin. It's none other than. Lord Voldemort! This is such a suiting entrance for Voldemort. I'm actually really impressed with the uh, with the determination on what the creator of this character did. Really proud of that. Here he is, one of Godric Gryffindor's favorites of all time, none other than the Chosen One, Harry Potter, coming out of Godric's Hollow.
There's that New World Order title belt and the submission only match. Voldemort right out of the gate with a kick to the scar. Getting them stomps in early while he can and another punch. Straight to the gut, straight to the scar. DDT! Voldemort lining up for Crucio, didn't get it. Harry Potter now with an Expelliarmus. Voldemort slips out with an Alohomora. Slips the lock with the Alohomora. Beautiful match. Another kick to the scar. Voldemort setting up with an Incendio. Incendio! Harry with another reverse. Couple punches right to the snake-like nose that is Lord Voldemort. Sending Voldemort right back into the ring. Harry doing a dance. We called that Godric's Hollow. Setting up. They call this the Flying Snitch. Beautiful, caught the Golden Snitch. 10 points to Gryffindor. Beautiful reversal by Harry Potter. Getting him in early on Voldemort, knowing the last match that Voldemort took the win. Looks like Harry's got a little fight back now. Oh, whoa, what a neck breaker from Harry Potter. The chosen one really bringing it out. Lord Voldemort taking his breather. Going in with a flying Death Eater, could not connect. Harry with a reversal, getting that snap suplex. Little wrist breaker action there. Voldemort with a reversal. Harry with another reversal. Voldemort with again reversal. He's got him in the death lock. He's up. Hagada Kadabra! Voldemort getting Harry up in the air. I think he's going to send him outside the ring. No, reverses it. Ooh, and a clothesline on the ropes. Voldemort going in for an early submission. Nope, Harry gets a reversal. Ooh, little, 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 ooh, grinding on that neck bone. Another reversal by Voldemort. Ooh, a double hammer fist to the gut of Harry Potter. Another flying Death Eater. Voldemort setting up for the Avada Kedavra. Avada Kedavra! Look at that form. Look at that beauty. Look at that rage in Voldemort's face. The Dark One himself, he who must not be named, really taking Harry Potter to Pound Town. Another flying Death Eater. Another Death Eater outside the ring. Harry using another uh, a little more to get out of that lock. Harry going back up to the ropes, saying, I am the chosen one. I am the chosen one. Keep your eye on the prize, Harry. Uh-oh. Voldemort was going up. Who knows what he was going for? Could it have been his Bellatrix Lestrange? We don't know. Harry stopped it. Harry sending Voldemort back into the ring. Another reversal and another Death Eater from Voldemort out of the ring. Man, he's just not relenting. Voldemort setting up for... Oh, wow. Would you look at that? 
has Harry Potter right in the Dementor's kiss. Harry reversing, using Expecto Patronum on him to get it away. Beautiful Simptress Emperor right there from Harry. Harry's got Voldemort up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, and a little ankle hold here. We're going to call that a uh, Hogwarts or Hagrid's foot. We'll call that the Hagrid's foot. Uh-oh. Could this be it? Expecto Patronum. There's two forms of that move. Uh-oh, he's got him in the he's got him in the Dumbledore's beard. Nope. And a, that's an Alohomora from Voldemort. Death Eater! Uh oh, Harry, Harry's going up for it again. Padfoot Prong! Wormtail and Mooney. That is sold. He took him straight to the Leaky Cauldron. Voldemort using another Alohomora to get away from Harry by using that rope break. Whoa! Whoa! Harry Potter just used the flying Quidditch right on Voldemort. Another flying Quidditch. Unbelievable. I think Harry may take this. Couple shots to the ribs of Harry Potter. Another punch to the scar, rib, punch, rib, scar. Harry's down. Voldemort needs some stamina. Going in for Nevada Kedavra. Could this be it? I don't even know what his special moves are, to be honest with you. In ring finisher. Oh, Tombstone Pile Driver. Okay. Here comes the Tombstone Pile Driver. There it was. There it was. Driven home like my date at the end of the evening. No kiss goodnight. Just driven home. The Death Eater's Claw. Harry gets out of it with another Alohomora. A lot of to and fro in this match. Ooh, and a backbreaker brought by Harry Potter. Right to the lumbar. Taking the scar straight to the turnbuckle. Another reversal by Harry Potter himself. This is just getting out of hand in there. Ooh, what a beautiful power bomb by Harry Potter. Uh-oh, this could be it. This could be it. Nope. Voldemort gets out of it.
Here comes another Havada Kedavra by Voldemort. Beautiful Havada Kedavra. Look at that rage and intense look on Voldemort's face. Blood pouring out of him. This match has been intense. Just like camping. Setting up for another Tombstone pile driver, Reversed by Harry Potter, Aloha Morad, Havada Kedavra, and I think Voldemort's done for. That may have been the straw that broke the Griffin's back. He just danced him like a hippogriff. Another submission by Harry. I think Harry may take the belt. There it is. Voldemort submitted. He submitted to Harry. Harry is the winner of the New World Order title belt. Beautiful matchup. James and Lily Potter would be very proud of Harry. <coughs> I can't believe Harry's the winner. I am totally shocked. That match, I, you didn't know, you know. There was a lot of fighting going on. <clears throat> well, it's just about that time. We've got one more match to go. It's going to be the main event of the evening. And for this match, I'm going to have to download a very special belt. I'm going to find a horror belt. That's right. A spooky ooky belt. Or, you know, whatever. Community Creations. Downloads. This title is going to be going to one of these people. Championships. No superstars. Hashtags. H... O R R O R The Icon of Horror Belt Nightmare on Elm Street The Slasher Championship Look at that <clears throat> What is this? Champion Dead Halloween? Eh, the Horror Champion? Horror Killer of the World. I'm kind of digging that. This is the Ultimate Slasher. That's the Ultimate Slasher Championship. We might have to go with that. Yep. Let's take a preview of the belt. I do like that. I do like that. Not as good as... That's not as good as the Ultimate Slasher Championship. I think we might have to go with the Ultimate Slasher Championship. Let's take a preview of the Icon of Horror Belt. See how that looks.
Well, now that's got everybody on it. That's got Leatherface and all of them. <clears throat> all right. We'll take a vote here. Shall we do... Shall we do the Icon of Horror Belt? We're going to download it anyway, just, just to be on the safe side. Icon of Horror or the Ultimate Slasher Belt? One of the two. Nelson says slasher. All right. All right. I can't believe Braun Strowman came in on the Goku Frieza match. That was crazy. That was just nuts. All right. We're going to make this a battle royale four way. Here we go. All right. <clears throat> Braun is wicked. I'll give you that. All right, so last time I played as Jason Voorhees. Now I got to switch it up. I'm thinking this time, who should I be? Huh? It could be Mike Myers. It could be Leatherface. Or it could be Freddy. Hmm. I do like the way Freddy looks. I think I'm gonna go Freddy. Why did I go NXT? Ah, oh, well. There I go again. Getting ahead of the game. I didn't even set it up for the title. What a dingus. H2O, how's it going, man? Thanks for joining in. Uh, I'm getting into a match right now, but I'm actually going to back out real quick because I didn't set it up correctly because I'm a dingus. This is the main event of the evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the main event. We had a triple threat ladder match. Money in the Bank. Hank Hill versus Homer Simpson versus Peter Griffin. Hank took the win. And then after that, or prior to that, we had Goku versus Frieza. Frieza won. After that, we had uh, Brain Fart. Brain Fart. Oh, Harry Potter versus Voldemort, where Voldemort took the win over Harry Potter. After that, we had this matchup. It was a uh, Hell in a Cell match, and Jason Voorhees took it. I think it was Jason Voorhees, wasn't it? Who won that match? I can't remember who won that match. Well, then we did a rematch. 
Uh, Frieza won again. But then Braun Strowman... Braun Strowman... Oh, that's right. Freddie did win that one, didn't he? Braun Strowman came in and uh, took a beating on uh, Frieza. We went into the Hank, Homer, and Peter in a TLC title match. Well, well, guess where who won that one? It was oh, do you know what? Since Freddie won, I don't want to be Freddie. I think I'm gonna be uh, I guess I'm gonna be uh, Mike Myers then. Hank won the TLC match. Then we got back into uh, Harry versus Voldemort. Harry won it. It was a submission only. You guys like that Jason, don't you? We're going to make this WrestleMania 33. This is deserving of WrestleMania 33. The ultimate slasher championship. You know what? We're going to make it a double title match. Icon of Horror and the ultimate slasher championship. H2O, I want to thank you for coming into the stream, man. Uh, we are the Rocky Mountain Slackers. My name's Wicked underscore Ninja 88. And uh, I really appreciate you stopping in, man. If you like what you hear, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Also, head to SoundCloud or iTunes or Podbean and check out our... We've got a podcast, man. It's called the Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast. Slacker Cast, one word. Uh, Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast, great podcast where we talk about all things nerd culture. Really just about a, a little bit of everything. And then also... If you like the video game Fortnite, not a lot of people do. Some people do, some people don't. But we got another podcast called Once in a Fortnite. Give that a check out if you like to as well. <clears throat> Coming out of Haddonfield... Illinois! Just a man who wanted to go trick-or-treating, but his sister wouldn't take him, so he went crazy and killed his family! Went to a psych ward, Michael Myers! Hey, thanks for that subscribe, H. Joel. I really appreciate that, bud. Mike Myers likes long walks through the desolate town of Haddonville. Haddonfield. On a dark Hallow's Eve, taking candy from babies and maybe your sister while she's losing her virginity to her boyfriend. Hey, we know that, Nelson. Don't blame you. Like I said, it's a game. It's an acquired taste. I, I, I'd say that for sure. You know, I've always considered getting into UFC games, uh, but I haven't done it yet, 420, or H H20. I, I've, I've wanted to for a while, and, uh, you know, I've had a few people ask me to do them. I think it's about time I got into it. I mean, I do, I do a lot of fighting games. 
Um, something I'm willing to give a try. Okay, why is he smiling? It is creepy when Michael Myers smiles. Just saying. I do like me some Injustice too. Uh, that's actually going to be coming part of our stream not too long from now. <clears throat> Rana, what's going on, my man? Welcome to Wednesday Fight Night with the Rocky Mountain Slackers. Coming right out of Parts Unknown in Texas, he likes long walks through the desolate desert. It's Leatherface. You may find yourself walking throughout Texas enjoying a nice warm Texas evening but watch your back because you could quickly be snatched up and drug into a basement and have hooks gutted through you and then you become a wall ornament for this crazy psychopath known as Leatherface. Coming right out of your deepest, darkest pits of the Lake Crystal. Hey, if you're walking along a beach and your boobs are showing and you're a teen female, look out. He'll get you with a machete. It's Jason Voorhees. The only one that could love him was his mother. He spent most of his time alone. He also likes a nice, strong vodka martini. Rana, if you like the content that you're witnessing tonight, we do live streams Monday through Friday here on the Rocky Mountain Slacker channel. So if you like it, hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Let us know you care, because we care about you. Truthfully, you do. Every Wednesday night is Wednesday fight night, so if fight night, fighting games are your, your thing, this is where you'll find them is Wednesday night on this channel. We're going to be going through a whole bunch of stuff, actually. Uh, Brawlhalla, uh, Injustice 2, we're going to be going through, um, uh, what's that game with the panda, uh, oh, Kung Fu Panda, something like that, coming right out of your deepest nightmare, just off of Elm Street, which is two blocks down from Sesame Street, it's the one, the only, Freddy Krueger! And he's got a very dull entrance. I don't understand this entrance. Why does he need a lantern? He lives in the darkness. Freddy Krueger likes haunting your dreams. And if you believe in him, he will come for you. Right on, Rana. Thanks for the subscribe, buddy. <clears throat> Freddy dubbed his own wordage. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock the door. Five, six. Can't remember what that one was. I can't remember the rest of the song, but it's Freddy Krueger! <laughs> Jason did defeat Freddy. That is true. But really, can you kill a dream? Hi, I'm Freddy. I look like bacon, and I smell like burnt sausage. 
Yep. Burnt sausage. <laughs> I, I would imagine that would be a conversation he would have. I think he should throw the lantern into the crowd, and then the whole crowd catches on fire. That would just be great. A little morbid, but great. I'm excited for this battle royale. It's just a little strawberry jam on the apron, ladies and gentlemen. Don't worry about that. Mike Myers going straight for Jason Voorhees. Leatherface giving a DDT. I don't know what <laughs> Mike Myers doing. Mike Myers now going for Leatherface. Jason taking a couple swings. Mike Myers now has Freddy Krueger into a thrown suplex. Leatherface getting getting Jason Voorhees into a uh, into a British Bulldog, I believe that was. Now Freddy going over the rope. Freddy is out. Jason removed Freddy, or Mike Myers removed Freddy immediately. Now Jason Voorhees getting the one-two from Mike Myers. Jason now throwing Mike Myers to the ground. Leatherface with a nice elbow to the chest of Jason. Leatherface now giving the ki uh, gut kick to Mike Myers. Uh-oh. Looks like Jason's going after Leatherface. Leatherface still in it. Mike Myers coming in with the clothesline from behind on Jason. Now giving, now giving Leatherface the one-two over in the corner. A little reverse action from Leatherface on Mike Myers. Jason still going after Leatherface. Ooh, a little hip buster from Jason Voorhees to Leatherface. It's just a little sidewalk slam. Little sidewalk slam straight out of Jason's book of technique and power. Now Mike Myers throwing Jason, going in for a clothesline, and then a chest slam getting Jason down. Jason Voorhees doing a nice little reversal on Mike Myers, getting him in a leg lock, kick to the back of the thigh. Leatherface with a fireman's carry to Jason Voorhees. Getting, oh, he's getting him lined up on the rope. Could this be the end? Is he gonna choke slam him out? Mike Myers trying to stop it, can't stop it. Jason Voorhees out by Leatherface. Now it's up to Leatherface and Mike Myers. A little reverse action from Mike Myers, straight to the back of Leatherface's dome. And a beautiful DDT. Mike Myers outside the ring, cannot believe what just happened. Reversal action by Leatherface on Mike Myers. Jason is just stunned, he's leaving the ring. Leatherface with a kick to the gut. A toss to the ropes. Shoulder to Mike Myers' chest, sending Mike Myers to the mat. Now kick to the lumbar. Leatherface is kind of dominating the ring at this point. Ooh, a double axe handle right to the back of Mike Myers. Uh-oh. Little reverse action from Mike. Sending Leatherface out! Mike Myers is the winner! That was a fast match! Holy crap! Beautiful clothesline. Trophy has been earned. Fashion leader is the trophy. I cannot believe that. Just a two-star match. So fast. Unbelievable. Mike Myers is the icon horror champion and the ultimate slasher champion. That is crazy. I would not have expected that. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I've hit my two hour and 30 mark right here on the Rocky Mountain Slacker channel. Michael is a legend, Nielsen. You got that right, buddy. Remember guys, tune into the Rocky Mountain Slacker channel right here on YouTube, Monday through Friday. We've got different live streams going all the time. Uh, Wednesday night is your dedicated Wednesday Fight Nights with me, Wicked underscore Ninja 88. I've got my buddy A.A. Ron, also known as Tronicus, doing some live streams throughout the week. I've got my buddy Nicholas, uh, a.k.a. The Wyler, doing some live streams throughout the week. And they're always changing up their content. 
Uh, I'll be changing up my content. This is something we're all just starting out, trying to get a, a grip on things here. Also, if you want a good podcast to listen to throughout your day, check out the Rocky Mountain Slacker Cast on SoundCloud and iTunes. You can also check us out on Twitter. You can check us out on Facebook. Also, ThreadX3 Productions. You can go to ThreadX3Productions.com, and that's where you're going to find a lot of our content and a lot of, you know, you can click there and find all the rest of what we got going on. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Have yourself a great fight night, and we'll see you next week.